and I'm gonna continue to make awesome videos. It's a little hard to videotape at times, but uh, I'm gonna try my very best. And I'll keep it Probably the best street for riding. You know, if you can map out a path that's smoother but longer, it's definitely worth it. My job's only four miles max away. I'm not prepared to ride it there yet in case I don't get there on time or something happens, you know what I mean? I wanna use this thing a little bit more before I'll trust it to go on an actual trip trip that has time, where time matters, let's put it that way. This week uh, I worked two days up at the truck stop. For those of you who never watched before, I work at the East Coast's oldest truck stop. It's called Crown Point Truck Stop off of 295. Um, took a little ride up the road so I could come back here and just make this video. Let's see. Oop, and it stops because the wheels sink in. But look, without me on it, it'll go over it. Wheels sink in, that's why it doesn't ride on grass. Or it probably would. I'm pretty impressed. Like, I don't have much longboarding experience. I've done it, I've rode around on them. These wheels are killer, man. They go over some stuff. Like, I see a lot of people asking, will it ride over this? Will it do... Man, this will do anything you'd really expect it to do. Let me tell you. Absolutely. If you expect it to go over some bumpy-ass terrain and some bumps, it'll do it. I rode it over railroad tracks just to, just to see if I could, and it worked. I went right over them, and it wasn't one set of tracks. It was actually a double set of tracks. Just that little tap. Fair enough. Ready? And it's off. All right, guys. I end up getting a ride here. I'm getting a lot of interaction from people. I'm getting interaction from people that have ordered the board, haven't gotten it yet. Matt from Hashtag News Life, right here on, on YouTube. Hashtag News Life. Go to his channel, subscribe. He ordered a board. He says he's gonna keep people up to date. I'm not sure if he's gonna make skateboard videos or anything. I know he's right in my comments. He's another one that's recent. I promise to shout out. Matt, thank you very much for taking part in my YouTube videos. I want you guys to comment. I want you guys to take part. I want this to be a meeting place where you guys can come together and share your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences on whatever I'm talking about. That's exactly what I want. So feel free. Feel free to say whatever you'd like. One thing I have to point out here is uh, I did fully charge the board. says three lights I kind of suspected this light bar wasn't working properly with the first board when I called them uh, I started to explain my problem they're like oh it's just a light bar I have a feeling that they had a problem with that maybe maybe not um, so before I ride I always inspect the board and listen I haven't had this board a couple days already my worst fear the rear wheel the rear wheel has the motor so what in the world happens when you got to replace your wheel 
I don't think that's a benefit of hub motors, but let's see if I can get this in there focused. I broke my camera, so it's a little hard. It's cracked there, missing a screw here. You always have to do a safety check. This wheel was loose as crap. I had to tighten it. I'm surprised it was even rolling the way it was. Uh, let's see, where's the other crack? Uh, right there. It looks like it's starting to scale off here. I've only had this a couple days. So, I was making a point like, yeah, you know what? These boards may work all great and all. Someone like me, it's not good for. I already knew it wasn't good. I ordered this board, then I realized this board ain't going to serve my purposes. Uh, it's going to fall apart. So I'm going to use it too much. So I ordered an eval board, which is considered one of the best you can get. Whew. I have a selfie stick I made just for this. Tell you what, skateboard and vlog and all this, it's not easy. It's not easy. Beautiful Saturday. Yeah, you only have to touch, touch it lightly. I'm surprised how easy it turns on. Beautiful Saturday. Now, Tyler is going to work with us today in doing the review on the electric skateboard. That cop was rubbernecking it hard. Now you can get a third person point of view here with the camera. I like the fact that I can videotape somebody else. So what I did was, I was just saying, I tightened up the trucks on it. They were real loose and squirrely. It'll go over that stuff. You gotta kinda like lean back and then push your front foot down once you go over it. Like, like, ba doop ba doop got to get acclimated to it for sure he doesn't have any experience on these but uh, just like when I learned how to snowboard anybody's ever snowboard that watches this I'm sure you remember when you first learned how to snowboard as well lots of falling got to get acclimated the very first day I went snowboarding by the end of the day, I was doing black diamonds with the ease. Yeah, this cop's hawking around, Ty. We're gonna go up to the next street, make a right. So you're not gonna be able to turn as well because I tightened the trucks. What happened? It turned off. The, you don't have to shut it off and on. It's where you stand. I know, it's a pain in the ass. Now people are saying they haven't had problems no issues with their board and then there's a couple people that saying they have the same exact issue so i mean i'm glad that at least some people are riding with no issues that's awesome i know these batteries do die out pretty good definitely not as much use out of it i thought it would get but and i'm pretty sure i could push it 20 miles i probably could there's going to be a lot helping it how it goes i don't know if he'll open it up but he can make sure you pay attention to what you ride over too yeah, he was just coasting there but see that's smart you're on a nice smooth street like this it's going to roll give it some juice get it going and then coast away Save I'm letting you guys call the shots. Don't, don't. I'm gonna walk through Listen, the progression of riding. Twenty miles, and then per you, hour you just see the performance. Miles. You see how it's going.
show you guys what I come out with here. I got uh, my controller, my backpack, got some stuff in it, and the drone in there as well. So I'm all set. Got to figure out your boundaries. You got to figure out your limitations without a doubt, without a doubt. I can't wait. I ordered the Evolve skateboard on September 12th. It's now almost November 1st, but I knew there was a wait. I knew there was a wait. It is what it is. This company, I didn't know there was a wait. I still may have purchased one if I would have known. I don't know. I mean, we had five grand to spend on electric vehicles. We're still not done. We didn't spend it all. You know, I'm going to take my time, though, with the next purchases. We're really going to figure I'm not going to go wasting any more money, that's for sure. Official Red Bull break. We are not sponsored by Red Bull. We just drink it. What's he going to do? He's got a trick in his head. He's going to pull off a backside rail grind to a pup pup go. There's his pup pup go. And there he goes. I think he's skipping the backside rail grind. That just shows posterity and stabilization. Nineteen, and that's not even on a full charge. You've been using it, so it's legit. And we don't know how much charge it actually has. The meter doesn't work, so I gotta install a little volt meter on it. Tell us exactly what the volts are in it. I do have those, and that is not a problem to install. So you can see it's pretty easy to use. I mean, Tyler's got a good sense of balance. He, he's good at this stuff. He can pick it up real easy. 15? All right, 15. Ready? I don't know what grade this is. I'm not even going to guess, but it's definitely uphill. Definitely uphill. We'll say this is 15%. And listen, it does more than 50. I know for a fact it does more than 15%. I took it up a hill to a bridge. I couldn't believe it did it over rocks. All right. I mean, I'm impressed. I am impressed by what it can do, its capabilities. 17 uphill? Holy smokes. Yeah, you were cruising. You pulled out ahead of me, no problem. definitely seemed to get a nice charge last time it charged <laughs> I'm riding the bike up here going oh man ain't no cars gonna be here Definitely use a street sweeper. This was fresh as hell when I was here. It's not hard to ride. Yeah. I mean, the speed is a little bit too, but I love speed speed. The, the, the back foot position's perfect. You want it right on those two rounded hubs. That's for turning and stability. Then the front foot, you keep parallel to a cock position. 
if you're in a forward position, that's for hard turning. I don't recommend that at high speeds of uh, high speed riding. Definitely, he's got knee pads on. You just can't see them. He's got the elbow pads. You just never know what's going to happen, especially at high speeds on a skateboard. You, you will fall sooner or later. Without a doubt, 100%. Look, yo, that guy was rubbernecking. Everybody's looking. Nobody around here has seen these. I haven't seen one. Yeah, we're probably the first in the area, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen or eighteen. Wow. God, the plane. Holy crap. Right across from the airport here. Oh, there's a little road that goes down there. A little squirrely in the back end. See, for straightaways, the truck should be doesn't tight. Doesn't have regenerative braking. They're not all the way tight, they're still bent a little bit. Alright guys, I rode the board for two days. Forgot to inspect it between a day. I mean... I just totally forgot. So I'm in my office. I got the board in front of me. I wanted to go charge it. And check this out. I swear to God on everything I own. I swear on everything. That I did not loosen this up like that. Oh, I thought I'd be able to take it out by hand. Never mind. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh. Uh, well, let's put it this way. If I wanted to, I probably could take this out by hand. Look how loose that is. Look. Wow. So, apparently these wheels come loose. Easily. They didn't send a tool to tighten these, so I have my own Allen key. I mean, unbelievable. They never warned about this. If this board had gone through extensive testing, that would never happen. So check your wheels. Because when they come loose, this inner part here, this will spin up and down, up and down. That can't be good for the board. Can't be good. You can see I'm putting it to some use though. Yes, yes, yes. My kid wants this board when I'm done with it. When I'm done with the reviews. We have one more video to make. Well, to complete. It's pretty much all done. Four parts of the series. And as you watch this, you're going to be very close to watching the end of the series. Alright, guys. That's it with this. That's all I had to talk about here. And then look at the wheels. These wheels do not hold up. I think they're too hard. Look. So now what I want to do when I replace the wheels. I got to replace the motor. Or there's just a wheel replacement. Need to find that out. I know, I know people from Genesis had to have seen my videos. So if you're watching this Genesis... Why don't we answer this? And I'll keep it. You have to do this on YouTube. So let's adjust the car.